Well, what do we have here? It's yet another reaction to do. Well, it looks like it's time for the Myriad Celestia trailer for Acheron. And I'm noticing that this one seems to be four minutes. But more importantly than that, I'm noticing that there's like a fucking three paragraph essay in the description again. So, if you want to see me do more React content, you should probably recommend some stuff on my Discord. And I'll try to get through it in an orderly fashion. This, I just happened to be on the internet when it went up, so we're going to record it. This went up literally 10 minutes ago, so let's get a recording out. And hopefully I can have an edited and thumbnailed version of this out by the end of... Uh, by maybe noon tomorrow. Anywho, let's start with this description. Look at those view numbers going up as we were watching it. The dual planets were intertwined in each other's tragic destiny, and a dead song was scattered amongst the cave where the light hid. The song had no beginning and no end, had no sound and no echo, came from no singer and was heard by none, thus it uttered. Takamagahara, endless like Izumo. For it was a paradise, perfect in its place. Yet the sky turned dark and the great sun pulled the tides. And the kami left numerous trails as if migrating the Yayorozu the and the Magakami manifested and slaughtered without mercy. Yet little did they expect their peerless authority to be stolen and taken. Izumo broke 70,033 warriors' blades, forging the majestic sentinels twelve in number. The first was Truth, forged in the slain sovereign of Revelation. It allowed mortals to comprehend all laws and order, to dissect all things and recreate miracles. The second was Sky, forged in the slain eternal zenith. It could turn the sky into walls and fortresses. It could turn the sky into walls and fortresses and pose obstacles for the Magatsu Morokami's steps. The third was Howl, forged with the slain almighty thunder. It could summon lightning to tear the sky, and the soaring meteors and thunder dealt divine justice. The fourth was Mist, forged with the slain Evanbreath. It could make the winds break and to shear and shear the land for gales of rage forever unceasing. Boy, am I going to be annoyed if this is literally word for word just the closed captions of the trailer that we're about to watch. Boy, wouldn't that be funny? The fourth was mist, forged with the slain everbreath. It could make the winds break the shear, the winds break and shear the land for gales to rage forever unceasing. The fifth was Frost, forged with the slain heaven's winter cloak. It could freeze and still the order of time to create boundless frozen wastes and stretch one moment to eternity. The sixth was Fate, forged with the slain spurned sister of mortality. It could make flowers bloom and cover barren graves for life and death to dance in a cycle and dissipate. The seventh was Flare, forged with the slain Flamebringer. He could summon fires and burn down the very world to torch the skies and char the earth. The eighth was thought, forged with the slain wisdom supreme. It could discern the past and future with the mirror of water to tell the truth from lies over years beyond reckoning. The ninth was root, forged from the slain father of lands. It could command islands to float into heavens for mountains and valleys to burst before armies. The tenth was form, forged with the slain netherlord. It could make the masses join in unity, for the endless forms to ebb and flow as one. The eleventh was bind, forged with the slain omen ward. It drove misfortune into a binding cage, for evil and demons to instantly vanish. The twelfth was maw, forged with the slain woes eighty. It could corrode and age the very mortal world and make equal Kami and Oni, believing an entity's four souls to be sundered in twain. Then the underworld was cleared out, the wars called to a halt, 
and the twelve blades broken and locked. In the emptiness, the dead souls grew restless, and under the black sun two blades were forged, as bearers of the world's destiny. One was named Origin, and the other named End. For all began with humanity, and shall end with Oni kind. The sounds of lamentation ceased, and the dead flowers rose and fell. The losers returned to the void, and the winners became null. The hobbling monk sang the song without tune, for those who hold power of Kami are walking backwards towards divinity. Witnessed by the great sun, the land once named Izumu became completely devoid of humans, Oni, and Kami. Now that I just noticed, we got some voices in here. Shiraga Oni is uh, Sean Lynch, and maiden of the later... The maiden later known as Acheron, Allegra Clark. Alright, so we got a lot to look forward to here. A lot of lore about swords here. Some of these descriptions actually seem to match up with Acheron's kit that we've seen talked about in some of the other trailers. So, I wonder how much of what I just read is going to be in this trailer. Hopefully, not much of it, because I just spent almost six minutes reading that, and it's a four-minute trailer. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? No. I just read about it, about it, though. Because in times past, when the Yao Yorozu no Kami descended here, they wrought death and disaster on this world and its people. Okay. To save the world, Izumo splintered 70,033 blades. Yeah, that was in the description we read. 12 sentinels. Yep. Please don't just read off everything I just the read. Was truth. God damn it, they're going to read off everything I just read. It could teach mortals the way of the law and create miracles from the deconstruction of all things. Okay, at least we have visuals to go with everything the I just read. The sky forged by the eternal zenith. It could form a barrier from the firmament and prevent the uh -huh. gods of misery from passing through. That's kind of neat. The third was Howl. Howl. Able to summon lightning to rend the heavens, and meteors to rain down. Howl is a cool name punishment. for a sword. The fourth was Mist. Able to break earth and tear cloud with biting wind. So, why is rain. Mist able to tear up the earth? The fifth was Frost. Fro why isn't Frost the, the one that. In an instant. Why can't Frost be the one that tears up the, the earth? The sixth was Fate. The restless cycle of life and death. That's a that's a lot for a sword to handle. Now that I think about it. Thought, root, oh, thank God, we're spooling through these. Find Ma. With those sentinels, we seized on tomorrow's expectation. Thank God. Victory that they didn't just victory. repeat everything I just read. All of them were broken. The price of every victory was a world in its entirety. How many of them were reforged into what fucking yeah. Acheron's wielding as a sword? That's that what I want to know. Was lost. All of them, I'm getting. And so Izumo splintered twelve sentinels and forged them into two bearers. Two. The first was Origin. Origin. The second was End. That's a big fucking sword. The world forged seventy thousand and forty-seven blades, and only one could save Izumo. But you and I both. Oh, that's definitely her sword. The I recognize the weird eye logo does on not it. Exist. There is no trace of tomorrow. Resisting the Kamigami, humanity will eventually become Oni. We pawned everything more for the destruction of two worlds. In times past. So they destroyed the world to do what? Takamagahara, upon which the Kami descended. Surely as beautiful as Izumo. And both those blades got destroyed too now. So, now there's no swords. Do you still remember why Izumo forged these blades? No. Because of a lie. An end that never existed. We long since strode into their shadow. 
Each step forward, one that we can never walk back. Until the last blade is forged into Light. Not. Not. Ix? The nihility? How much of this is left? Not much. I knew this world was fleeting. And yet. And yet. And yet what? You gonna end it there? <laughs> Alright. Let's break this down. So we got a lot of stuff here. We got 12 sentinels, 12 blades. Each forged by effectively a different kami or god. And then we just speed through them at the end because there's 12 of them and we've only got four minutes to do this trailer. But at least we get to see what they all are. Flare. Let's read what Flare did again. So Flare was forged with the slain Flamebringer. Could summon and burn down the very world. Cool. Thought was the one that was made out of wisdom. Could see the future in water. Root did, um... I'll, literally, this this trailer has everything that I need to analyze. Just cut out for me in the description. And we read it right off the beginning. So if you want to go back and read my description, you can basically go through each and every one of these on your own from this point on. There's not much for me to add here. There's... Probably the most notable thing worth mentioning, though, is we have the maiden later known as Acheron. And uh, Shigara Oni, who I don't know who that is. It's probably the only other voice we hear in the trailer. Who keeps asking this question over and over again. They pawned it all for the destruction of two worlds. All of humanity will become Oni, the end. And the end is what the big sword is. So everyone will become part of the big sword? So I guess they had to destroy the big sword because everybody's going to become part of the big sword if all of humanity will become the end. And this sword is the end. The other sword is the origin. They both break. And then she uses her blood to reforge it again. What's going on here with the symbolism of the black hole? I can't tell if this is literal or historical event. But we remember from the last trailer, the description for the... The dance trailer between the Rondo of, uh, of Continuous Culpus. There was a speak of how the end of Izumo, whether it's fiction or not, is up in the air. No one knows if it even ever existed. And we're basically getting the story of how this land of Izumo actually ended. Whether or not this is actual... This is basically... This trailer is animating what the description of the previous trailer react, we reacted to was in. So that's a really good deep dive analysis on my part. I'm not sure how much more of this you want me to add. So all human turn into Oni, and right after we destroy this sword, she loses her horns. I think, right? Does she have the horns here? I can't quite see. She's so small. No, she still has the horns. Interesting. When does she lose the horns? Is it right here? When she reforges Origin. I think it's neat that we learned the name of her sword. Her sword is called Origin. Oh, that's where the horns fall off. Interesting. <coughs> Ugh. Well, this has been a very interesting story. Next up is going to be Acheron's uh, character demo, but we have a little bit longer to wait for that. Who knows where it'll come out? Considering this video came out today, I expect it'll be up tomorrow. And you can expect my reaction to it probably within a few hours of after it, I've reacted to it. So, until next time, stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.